Hi guys, I'm here to give you a housing update for the Triangle mid-year 2021. I've been reading some headlines here that say maybe we're into a housing bubble and I've heard that several times because we've had such a raging seller's market so I wanted to give you some real stats that you can depend on so you can judge for yourself and I can tell you from what I know for sure that is not the case. We are not in a bubble. And the, the reason is, is we have a very different circumstance from our last housing bubble, which many people remember, which was 2005, 2006, and 2007. And the difference is the loans, the loans that they were making back in those years uh, were a high amount of loans that where the people applying for the loans had credit scores of less than 620 points. And that's not normal. That's not a normal business climate. So the uh, adjustment that they made in lending has brought us back to a very stable environment in lending. And I can give you a statistic on that. In 2006, there were 376 billion home loans made to people who have less than 620 credit score. And today there's only 74 billion, still a big number, but we've gotten back to housing uh, that is in line. When you get a loan, they have something called disposable income in between all your debts and what you're going to owe on the house. How much disposable income will you have? And now we're back at half of what the average has been over the last 50 or 60 years. So I think the housing affordability today is uh, incredibly good for long-term use. And the reason that home affordability will decrease is because home prices are going to increase and it's because interest rates are going to increase and it's also because wages haven't caught up with the fast increase in the housing prices so there's no housing bubble uh, there's nothing there for you to be concerned about you're still at a very very strong seller's market there's one more thing that always comes up when you're talking about a housing bubble and that's forbearance many people know that quite a few americans were given forbearance on their home mortgage because of COVID. And uh, it started out with a big number. There was about 30% of mortgage holders that were given forbearance. Well, that number's all the way down to 3.5% now. And most of the people that had a forbearance have paid back what they owed. And the others have actually worked out a deal with their bank or their lender uh, so that they could pay a little bit of that back payment back on a monthly basis. So no big forbearance wave. I think the number is about 3%. That in no way will give us relief or will give us a wave of foreclosures. So I think that that's uh, something for you to know about. There is no likelihood of a big foreclosure crisis again. So when you see all of these headlines, that tell you, oh, we're at the end of this market. The statistics just don't bear it out. The data says we're in a strong seller's market. We may, however, be going back to a more balanced market. Now's a great time to sell your home, considering selling it now before the end of the year when supply is low and demand is very high. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.